Okay, welcome back. In our last video, we talked about the door lock settings, how to configure, how to configure door lock. So we, in our last video, we, we, our operations was done in the door lock settings button, and we configured our doors. We talked about the process. So now we are talking about we are going to in this particular video we are going to talk about other settings we need to do with the door lock setting okay so to configure a door lock we need three things we need a room setting card we need a time card and we need an authorization card and also we also need a mastercard to support you need a mastercard so mastercard is part of the cards you use in configuration but is to test with like for myself i use the mastercard to test if the door is working accurately so let's get down to business so the area the button i'm going to click on is issue special card double click on it it's going to the special card window will pop up so I'll scroll down to time card. So for time card, um, you have to set, you have to make sure the time is correct. Like this is the time, this is the correct time as I'm making this video. The time is correct, 6:55. So and normally the time card is always earlier by five minutes. You can set it in such a way it's always it will be earlier by five minutes that uh, five minutes uh is an est it's an estimate for the distance between where you're configuring and the particular door you want to configure so you can give an estimate you can give a good guess of the amount of time to take you to get to the location if let's assume that it, the hotel you are configuring is a five stories hotel so you assume that it's going to take you 10 minutes to get to the top floor if it's going to take you 10 minutes to get to the top floor then make your time card to be 10 minutes so you have to calculate and make or throw a, an assumption of the amount of time to take you to get to the position where you are doing the configuration of the lock and that's what it's about and this is very important the card holder The card holder is very important. The, the card holder is very important. So I normally put admin, or if it's for the um, one of the receptionist, you can put Rita. But this you just have to put a card holder. That's the way it is. Then when you're ready, when everything is set, you place the card on the encoder, and you click on issue card. So it's successful. So that's it about time card. Then let's talk about MasterCard. MasterCard is another very important card that I it's not it's not really as important as um the room setting card and the time card, but I always use MasterCard when I am doing my configurations of lock. I use it just to test. So that's why I always I don't I never forget to set my mastercard. So I'm going to place a mastercard now. I'm going to place a blank card on the encoder which the blank card is the card which I wish to make my mastercard. So after placing it I select the card holder. Then I can put a remark. The remark is normally the holder of the card um, let me say a, the remark is just a description of to help you remember the particular card or the person that is assigned to or the people that will be using it or the area it could be anything that could help you differentiate this card from other cards so then this is also important can open deadlock like for myself I don't make all cards to be able to open deadlock I only allow the manager the manager's card to be able to open deadlock deadlock is the 
um uh, is you can find it when you're inside a room is you can you can open it and close it it's a lock it's an internal lock so um you can also set the master card to open the deadlock or not be able to open it so the setting is up to you you can design it for whichever way you can design it whichever way will be convenient for your own operations but for myself i like to make only the manager card the manager's master card to be able to open the deadlock so i'm going to leave it like this then i'll issue card so that was successful so in the next video we are going to show you how to um, configure a lock with all the various cards that we have issued out okay thank you okay yeah in the other scene we are talking about um configuring the mastercard and the time card and in our last video we've already configured the room number for the lock so this lock this particular lock now have uh, the room number has been configured so now what i want to do is i want to configure the time the time and the and also test the mastercard if it's working correctly i use the mastercard to test the lock if it's working accurately so now to set the time on the lock the time function is usually used for making sure the inbuilt time in the lock is correct so to set the time you have to first of all put authorization card then you put the time card so that's all the time has been set so we can also this is the we also set the master card so this is the master card so it has opened test the lock so so always remember we use this three card the time and the master card the authorization card okay thank you i hope this video was helpful for you